Hello. How you doing? Good. How are you? I'm Officer Cox the Tiggy Police Department. Do you have a driver's license proof of insurance on you tonight? Sure do. What you got behind you? Do you have your insurance? Sure do. What, what you got pulled up behind yes, you, sir. lady? I was able to Excuse me? A, uh, Who you got behind you, lady? Uh, an officer. Do you have your uh, insurance? I sure do. Okay, I need that. Dude. Had anything to drink tonight? Root beer. Just root beer. You bust anybody but without license tags? Huh? State inspections? Okay, sir, go ahead and step out of the vehicle, okay? Run it. Come on. No, I'm not getting out. Okay, yes, you are. Come on. Are you going to jail? You either pick which one you're going to do tonight. For what? Go on and step out of the car. For what? you making this harder. Get out the car. What am I going to jail for? Okay, get out of the car. For what? If you don't get out of the car, I'm telling you right now, I'm going to go ahead and call it in. Get out of the car. For what? Put the car in park and get out of the car. For what? Sir, I'm telling you right now to get out of the car. For what? Nine, you got stone. my driver's license Two right there. Nine, run, run it. I can't find my picture. If you have any additional units, would you go ahead and send them this way, please? Go ahead and get out of the car. Sir, you step out of that vehicle right now. Around. Face, the, face the car right now. Face the car. Turn around. Face this car right here. Don't move. Don't move, man. Uh, Give me a hand. Put well, your hands, me. Uh, Put your hands right here. I'm going to pad search you right now. That's what I'm going to do. What's on my driver's license? Put your hands What's right DD here? on my driver's license stand for? Here. Okay, right here. Do you have any weapons on you? A wallet in your pockets that's going to stab me, poke me? No. I got a little knife off of that. Just got a clip. Where's the gun, son? Where's the gun, man? Where's the gun? In my car. The box. Okay. Cooperation on your part would be helpful. Don't no, move! No, no, no! It's wrong. It's in his back pocket. Okay. What's wrong? What's wrong with you that you can't put your hands behind you? What'd you pull me over for? Right now it doesn't matter. What's important here is that you obey everything we're telling you. Okay? Give me a hand. Now get one phone call. Put your right hands now on you're your not back. you're only being detained. No okay. You're not going to jail. Okay. I can find my insurance card, that's it. That's fine. All this you're refusing to step out of the vehicle is what's making it. Making this difficult. Two on our first time. Show one at this time, Batain. I need another set. Okay, 
Make it a little bit easier on you. I'll make it over long. Okay. Right now, I just need you right over here. Now, what was the problem about you coming out of the business? Why would you just about it? Well, I couldn't find my answers. What does that have to do with you coming out of I guess nothing. Is there anything in the vehicle? Yes, you You can open it up. We have permi your permission yeah, to search it? Yeah, you can open it up. Okay. As long as you leave it, can I turn around? Yes, you can. Okay. Oh, he is? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let me explain this to you. Do you have any come on, this time. Man, <laughs> this dude, he coming around the curb going 56 and a 45. So I get behind him, I pull him over or whatever. And I asked him to drive like, so he's acting all, I mean, it's it's weird. Stuff, I asked him, I was like, have you anything to drink? He studied looking for his uh, insurance. And I'm like, okay, well, have you anything to drink? No. And then he says, well, who's up? Who's pulling up behind you? I'm like, okay. He's, like I said, he's just acting weird. So I said, okay, sir, where's your insurance? And then he kept forgetting that he's asking for the, and then I'm asking for the insurance. I said, okay. I said, go ahead and step out. He throws the car in the drive. He's like, I'm finna, yeah. Yeah, he did. Yeah, 
You gave her consent yeah. to look look in the trunk. Okay. So he's refusing it now? Yeah. We can go ahead and run the gun, can't we, sir? I'm going to step out of that. Get back here to your Did I ever get that 27? Sorry, my that side window doesn't even go down. So the guns are good. Uh, DWI or something. I don't know. I don't smell anything on him. I don't. He's just being a. Yeah. Probably, probably a sovereign citizen. I guess. 
I can kind of just buy the stuff that's in the car. So he tells us, I don't have to get out of the car. What's, what's the right? What's the right? And then he gets out and we have to like, you know, I mean, you'd have a weak uh, resisting case, but yeah, I don't know that it'd be worth messing with. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, you know, as soon as Brad tells me, he's, he's good. Yeah. You know. uh, maybe he just has a problem with female authority figures. I don't think <laughs> that was it. There's a lot of people out there that aren't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think it was a little bit deeper, deeper than that. <laughs> a little bit deeper. Trying to stay, you know. I don't know what what was wrong with, you know, this dude. You know, we get up there and like I said, he acting all weird, but I don't smell him half at all. I don't. He's just. And then of course he asks him, "Well, who's with you? You know, who who's with you?" And then we tell him you got the car. He throws the car in the drive. And then of course Brad gets him out, and of course he, you know, oh, oh well, I just told her I didn't know what my my insurance was. I, that's all I told her, you know, you know. I didn't, I didn't check his wallet for one, so. It was this in his pocket? Mm-hmm, it was in his back pocket. When he got out of the car? Yeah. That's not a lot of security, what? If he, he don't have the, the, with the, uh. He didn't tell you he had it? Mm-hmm. That's not a lot of security, what? He got out of the car. <laughs> you know, it's a little. Something? I mean, I don't know. To me, it just seemed like he's like one of those, you know, uh, try me, I'm, I'm going to just, you know, be that type of way. Oh. Yeah. Where's you know, going? because he's like, well, what's your proper call? You got to tell me, you know. And then he's just, he's from Franklin. And right. like, when I looked in his car, he has like all these LiDAR guns in there. Like he, he, yeah, like he's working for, you know, he has the police, uh, but like I said, he, he withdrew consent to search his car, but he has like all these 
you know, like the little pamphlets that we get from the TML and all that stuff in the car. But then he has those light on. He has like three or four. Working? It didn't even show. You mind about that open? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm just like, I've never had this type of, kind of, you know, with him doing consent and then withdrawing, I just yeah. didn't. I like going around the belt. Yeah. See the bright lights on Because it was in, well, it wasn't a pistol. He had like a little in his uh, back pocket, and he kept saying, "It's no, it wasn't in my back pocket." And when he got out, Brad pulled it, it out. He kept saying it was in the glove box, but he was in his back pocket. And I don't even think he realized that he was, because he kept saying, "It's in my glove box. It's in my glove." And Brad just pulled. It's a 22 pistol. Oh no, that wasn't anything. You got pepper Seen something TML on there? Huh? Yeah, that came from the.
a vet. Tell me. Mm -hmm. He was taking medication for that. Mm -hmm. How far did you get searching the car for you with root consent? He, I mean, I went to go unlock the door, came right across here, and he said no. So he just gave me consent again? I know, sir. that's what I just said. Yeah. You know what, when I first got here, he's like, who, you know, I don't know, the tone just totally different with, <laughs> with you guys, then, you know, and then he tells me, oh, you can search the trunk with nothing else. And then I go to search the trunk, he says, no, you can't search the trunk. told me, you know, couldn't search the car, and then he tells me I can search the trunk, and then I go to pop the trunk, and he says, no, I'm withdrawing the whole thing, but like I said, once he answers, you talk to him, or once you say something, it's something totally different, I mean, he literally put the car in drive when I told him to step out the car. Salad. Going back from Franklin, he was coming from Buffalo and Jewett. Well, he's going that's way, all, he's that's way the hell out of the way. Yeah. He's doing that. Man, I didn't smell any alcohol or anything, but he is talking like. Something's not right. I don't know if medication's got his head messed up or road map. Did you ever pop the truck? No, I didn't. Because, yeah, like I said, he, he didn't thing. let me. I wouldn't go, you know. at the bottom, I'm just walking down on.
Has the freedom things on the yeah. on the dash of freedom magazine. Yes, three. Three. Yeah. Boxes. Yeah. Oops, sorry, bro. Yeah, right. See, I really believe that somebody else had to he was going to give you all kinds of Oh, man. Oh. I can feel the way he was just acting towards me. And every last one of them said, you know, it's probably, I think it's a, you know, a, yeah. 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 Yeah.